Your scars are beautiful and unique. They tell your story and they show how strong you are in whatever it is that you had to overcome. Hello, my name is Emma and today I'm going to share with you three tips that my surgeon gave me when I had a total thyroidectomy. Now these tips, they really work. The transformation that my scar has had from when I first had surgery until now is huge. You're going to want to keep watching because what I'm about to show you really did work for me. I remember when I first found out that I had to have a total thyroidectomy, I was in complete shock. I remember my surgeon telling me that he would have to cut three to four inches of my neck to be able to completely remove my thyroid. And I remember just thinking, that's basically the size of my entire neck. Like, what is this gonna look like after surgery? I think it's perfectly normal to feel like frightened because, you know, surgery is a huge deal and you have every right to have those feelings and to, you know, to process what's about to happen to you and your body. Now, after I found out this information, my mum, my grandma and I, we all went shopping and I remember just thinking, I need to buy some things to cover this up. So I purchased scarves, I purchased choker necklaces thinking that I would be wearing these all the time because I would have this scar on my neck for the rest of my life. I was preparing for a job interview and I thought they're never going to hire me with this, you know, cut on my neck and I wore one of the chokers to my job interview. Later on my boss when I told him that story was like, what that? That didn't matter. I, I didn't even notice that. Like that was never going to come against you in the job. But these are the types of things that you kind of think about when, you know, you have a scar. Well, at least I was thinking about it because it was so visible on my neck. It's not like I could just hide it. So here are my three tips that I'm going to share with you that completely transformed my scar. So let me just show you what it looks like right now. So as you can see, my scars only just visible. When I relax, you can hardly see it. So my surgeon, he cut right on the line of my neck. He said, as I aged, it would just, it would just blend in with my wrinkles. So here's some images from some of my other thyroid videos where I show and talk about my scar. You can see what it looks like in these pictures compared to now. So I had my surgery in April, 2017. So what's that, 17, 18, So yeah, like three, like three and a half years ago, I had my surgery. So that's a good amount of time to heal it. It, it took that long to get to this stage. So the first tip that my surgeon gave me was to use micropore tape on my scar. This little tape here. So it's really thin and very flexible. And I would change this tape twice a day. So in the morning and then before I went to bed. And I kept this on for quite a few months because it's really important when you have a fresh scar that you don't expose it to sunlight or get it sunburned because the UV rays are what turn scars purple. Your genetics obviously come into that and depending on you know how your skin heals, but he did say to me that a big reason for that discoloration in scars was from sun exposure. So I tried really hard to keep my scar out of the sun by wearing this tape all the time. This also holds the skin in place and stops it from moving around, particularly when you're sleeping, which also helps in the scar to heal. The second tip that he gave me was to use bio oil. On the bottle, it says that it's for scars and stretch marks, also uneven skin tone, aging and dehydrated skin. I've used this for years and years. I was in a car accident when I was a teenager and I had scars all over my stomach from the seatbelt and I used this and it completely cleared it up. So I knew that this was going to have good results on my neck. So right here, it says on the bottle, helps improve the appearance of both new and old scars. 
So I would just use this twice a day. You don't need much. I just pop a little bit on my finger and I would rub it onto my neck. I still do this every night when I'm doing my skincare routine because I also use this on my face. So bio oil really helped and was highly, highly recommended by my surgeon. If you're enjoying this video, please like it, share it with someone that might find it helpful and also subscribe to my channel. I share so many videos on lifestyle, health and wellness and I would love for you to join my community. You can also contact me on Instagram. I love it when you DM me. I love having a chat and getting to know you. So pop over to at Emitara and introduce yourself. Now for the third and final tip. And this one was pretty hard to do and that was massage the area. So when I was applying the bio oil, I would massage my neck as hard as I could. Now, as you can imagine, the area was so sensitive and I constantly choked and would cough. So this was really uncomfortable, but I had a lot of bumps in my scar. And what this did was break down the scar tissue and help to smooth out the appearance of the scar. And that's one of the reasons why you can see now it's quite flat. Obviously, my surgeon and the way that he did the procedure and then stitched me up had a huge impact on how my scar healed and why it is so flat, but massaging it definitely did help to eliminate some of those bumps. I remember for a really long time, and I would mention this in a lot of my videos, I had a lot of purple dots on my scar and they faded within time. I think that was from the massaging and also from using the bio oil. Massaging it did make it quite red, but this just faded within you know, a couple of minutes after doing it. If you found this video helpful, then you have to go and watch this video right here. I talk all about how I grew my hair because hair loss is something that unfortunately, if you have a thyroid disease, you will have to deal with. And over here, I share all my tips that really grew my hair. And as you can see, it's really long now. These tips truly, truly worked for me and I would love for you to go and watch that video. Thanks for watching, join the family, and I'll see you next time. Bye, have a wonderful day.